The purpose says uh, of uh, being in the presence of God uh, to pray, uh, to call upon God, and also just to separate yourself. As we are saying, this is the year of separation. We want to work for God. We want God to work through us. And Ezra chapter number 8 and verse 21. Hear what the Bible says. These are the children of Israel. They are coming from uh, another country. Getting back into the promised land. The land of their own. What did they do as they were seeking the mind of God? They needed to pass through uh, a dry land, they had to pass through other countries to get back to their country. Just like we are going through this year, we have started 2022. How are we going to face this year? How are we going to succeed in this year? The children of Israel, who were in a foreign land as slaves, now the king released them to go back to their country. Uh, they needed God to help them. Here yeah, what the Bible says, Ezra chapter number 8 and verse 21, the Bible says, this is Ezra, the leader of the people. He's telling us what he did. He says, Ezra 8, 21. Then I proclaim a fact. I proclaimed a fast, or I asked people not to eat, but to pray to God. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava, that we might humble ourselves. So fasting is humbling ourselves before God. Where you humble yourself, you say, I'm not going to eat. I will take time to read the word of God, to pray to God, to believe God. Why did they do that? that we might humble ourselves before our God, to seek Him for the right way for us, for our little ones, our families, and our possession, and our possession. So they were praying to God. They said, we are not going to eat today. We are not going to eat the next few days. Uh, we'll drink water, we'll drink uh, maybe refreshment, but we are not going to eat. Food, we will humble ourselves. We will tell this body to say, you know what? You are not here on earth just for food. You can stay without food and just be in the presence of God, talk to God, ask God to help you. And there are times that people say, I am going to be on a diet, telling the body to say, yes, you like this type of food, but this week, this month, I'm not going to eat too much of this. I uh, will concentrate on this. Uh, they do that why they want to lose weight. They want to discipline the body. In a spiritual way, when we say we are praying and fasting, we are humbling ourselves before God. That yes, the body wants me to do this, go uh, do this, go party, go do this and that, but I'm not going to do all things. I'm going to spend time praying to God. I'm going to spend time reading the word of God. I'm going to spend time asking God for direction this year. The children of Israel in Ezra, they were in a foreign land. They are going to go back to the land where God had uh, promised them and where they used to be. And then they were taken as slaves. Now they are going back, just like you and me. We don't know 2022, but God knows. And we are saying, God, we want you to lead us, to guide us protect us, our children, our families, our brothers and sisters, the world guide us, we don't know what to, to do. So that's what they did. They proclaimed their fast. They abstained from food. They said we are not going to eat for a period of time, but to be in the presence of God. And that's what we are doing in the next uh, 21 days uh, up to the 23rd of this month, praying, seeking the mind of God, based on Ezra 8, 21. So they proclaimed, the leader proclaimed their fast, told everybody, let's humble ourselves before God. Let's seek God. Let's ask God for direction. The right way for us. The right way for our children. The right way for all the things we have our possessions. God, what do you want me to do in 2022? 
where do you want me to go? What are some of the things you want me to do? And verse 22 says, For I was ashamed to request for help from the king to give a soldier to escort us, to help us against the enemies on the road, on the way. 2022, there might be a lot of enemies, there might be a lot of obstacles, but we must seek the mind of God. He says, because we had spoken to them, saying, the hand of the Lord God is upon those uh, who seek him for his power and his wrath against those who forsake God. So we fasted and entreated or asked God for this, and he answered our prayer. So we are believing God as we begin this year. Let's go back to Psalms. 103 as we wind up intercession today then we're going to praise and worship then we go into the preaching of the word thank you so much for everybody for joining in today as we pray as we listen to the word of god first month of the year god is going to help us god is going to guide us psalm 103 the same scripture that uh Elieta raised uh, this uh, afternoon as we were interceding Psalms 103. Let's go to verse 1. Few things there, and uh, we will go into praise and worship. Psalms 103. What does the Bible say? Verse 1. Psalms 103, verse 1. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. That's prayer point number one. Let's bless the Lord today. Just thank him. Just appreciate him for his goodness. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bless your holy name. I say thank you for 2021. Thank you for 2022. Thank you for allowing me to be alive in 2022. Yes, there might be a lot of challenges, but I come to you to bless the name of the Lord, to thank God, to appreciate God for His goodness, His mercies that are new every morning. Father, you are so good. I bless your wonderful name. Jesus Christ, I bless your wonderful name. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of Lords in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah God. Prayer point number two. All the time, continue to bless the name of the Lord. You wake up in the morning, say, Bless the Lord God Almighty for this brand new day. Prayer point number two. Psalms 103, verse 2. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Did you hear that? Children, all of us, Adam, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. You've got the clothes you have because God has provided. You've got a gift of life because God has provided life for you. The oxygen we pray is just by the mercies of God. You just to be awake today and to be healthy. We put our brothers, our sisters that will be praying shortly, uh, whereby they are sick, uh, they are going through challenges, they are uh, going through hardships, financial difficulties. But the Bible says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. He is reminding himself, be thankful to God. Look at the benefits, the things that you have received. Benefits are things that you receive today. We are giving you this. We have not uh, worked to receive what God has given us, but by His mercies, He has loaded our lives with benefits, with good things. So let's bless the Lord, He says, for all His benefits. Do not forget the benefits of the Lord. Let's pray to God and thank Him for all the benefits and the things that he has given us to us. Father, we give you the praise. We give you glory. We give you the honor. Mighty God, we are praying right now. We are praying. Open your mouth for those in the house of the Lord and those that in the room begin to thank God for all the good things he has done. He has given you life. He has given you friends. He has given you a family. He has given you a job. He has given you anything that God has given you. It is because of his goodness. Thank you, Jehovah God, for your benefits. I 
thank you for 2022. I thank you. I am still alive. For my brothers and sisters, I thank you. For this congregation, a wonderful church that you have brought us together, we are so grateful. At Warwick, the weapons of revival church, as Kids Green, we are so thankful. As we are calling this year the year of separation. Father, thank you for bringing us together as one family, running to help one another even in times of need. Thank you for the friends that you have given me. Thank you for the family. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children, for Shekinah, Eliezer, for Biela. Thank you for my extended family, for the members of this church. Thank you for Sister Wusi and the family. Thank you for Mama Anna. Thank you for Pastor Bonfes. Thank you for the Chandala. Thank you for Sister Protilda. Thank you for Sister Elisha. Thank you for Aisha. Thank you for Brother John. Thank you, Jehovah God, for John. Thank you, mighty God, for Brother Vesa. Thank you, mighty God, for the Mansas. Sister Ethel, oh God. Sister Sikuka, oh God. Brother John, oh God, class. Father, thank you for your goodness and your mercies. For Sister Charity, thank you, mighty God, for the Mukanda Willis. All the members of this church, Father, we are so grateful. For Reverend Mombi, Bishop Simple. Father, we are so grateful for the friends that you have given us, oh God. We are so grateful for the benefits that you have loaded us with. Joshua Changara, Jine, oh God, we are so grateful, mighty God, for all these wonderful people that you have surrounded us with. For Brother Oliver, oh God, we are so grateful. Father, we are so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. We are so grateful. Thank you, Jehovah God. Prayer point number three, and we'll be concluding with this one. Psalms 103, verse 3. Please open your mouth and thank God for his goodness. He is a mighty God. Oh, we are so grateful. We are so grateful. Psalms 103, verse 3. The Bible continues to say, This God, he forgives all our sins as a, a Eliezer was leading us this afternoon. There are many times that we have done wrong things to God, but he has not paid us back because of the bad things we have done. He has not judged us, he has not killed us, he has continued to love us. So the Bible says, don't forget, he forgives us of all our iniquities and he heals all our diseases. Verse 4, he redeems our life from destruction, from death. He crowns our hurts with loving kindness and tender mercies. That's what the Bible is saying. That's why we need to thank God as we conclude intercession. He forgives us. He heals us from all our diseases. He redeems our lives from destruction. What a mighty God we say. He redeems our lives. Wherever you are, you want us to pray that God will heal us, that God will redeem our lives. I want us to stand in the gap. We've got brothers and sisters in the church who are not feeling well, who are sick, who cannot help themselves, but we are believing God. You may know a friend, you may know a somebody who may be not feeling very well. We want to pray based, uh, based, basing our trust on Psalm 103 verse 3, for he forgives all our sins. He heals us from all the diseases. He redeems our life from destruction. I want us to pray. You may know somebody who is not well. We may know somebody. We have members of the church who are not feeling well. We are praying and standing in the gap. Wherever you are, let's pray to God for healing. God to heal the world from us. The pandemic from the destruction. God to redeem the nation. God to redeem communities. God to redeem families. God to heal individuals. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever you are, Joshua, Jine, Shekinah, Eliezer, Dikule, Changara, Pata, Biada, Pastor, Mambo, all of us, those in Soma, let's just go before the throne of God and pray for healing and cry unto the Lord. We have our brothers and sisters who are not feeling well. We are praying and crying to God that God should have mercy and heal us. Father, right now we are praying for healing. Mighty God, we are praying for healing. Help us, Jehovah God, heal us, O oh God, according to Psalms 103 verse 3. You are the Lord who forgives us. Father, if we have sinned against you, forgive us. If our brother
brothers and sisters have sinned against you, forgive them. Those who are sick right now, we want to pray for your hand of mercy, for your hand of healing. Heal us, O oh God. Heal our brothers, O oh God. Heal our sisters, O oh God, who are not feeling very well and they are not in the house of the Lord today. We cry for mercy, O oh God. You are a merciful God. You are a forgiving God. You are the living God. Father, we pray, we pray, we pray, we pray. God, redeem the lives of our brothers and sisters who are not well. Mighty God, there is nothing impossible with you. All things are possible with you. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you all the adoration. And we pray that King of Kings and Lord of Lords, even as we begin this year, we are praying verse 5 of Psalm 103, verse 5. The Bible says, see, you satisfy our mouth with good things, so that our youth are renewed like an ego. Mighty God, may you satisfy us. May you provide for us, O oh God, in the mighty name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Let's give God a hand clap offering for his goodness and his mercies that are new every morning. As we welcome the praise team to come and lead us in praise and worship as we begin to uh, worship the Lord and continue to lift the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. Thank you all uh, for uh, coming through and for intercession. For those that are watching us online, we love you and we appreciate you. This year, God is going to 